If you decide to call this corner of the street an epicenter of sweetness, you are right. It is one of the many spots where sugar cane undergoes special treat for its fans to savor its crystal juice. And just like the flies, not giving up in taking their own share, the street kids are all over the place waiting for the leftovers. Thank you. But the hundreds of hands that prepare the sugar cane for trade are engaged in revolving the economy, while those whose business is to consume it often get lost in the euphoria of a taste. It is a known fact that in this part of the country, if you are consuming sugar cane, your words are not taken seriously. But enough of that, let's talk sugar cane seriously now. Nigeria stands as one of the biggest producers of sugar cane in Africa, with more than 500,000 hectares of wetland suitable for its cultivation. But what is more interesting is that the country is busy chewing and wasting all the bits and pieces of the byproduct of sugar cane, with one of it being described as the oil of the future. To put the issue on the front burner, I met Professor Idris Bogaje, a chemical engineer who majored in processing waste from sugarcane to ethanol. He told me that Nigeria is capable of becoming self-sufficient in the production of sugar while utilizing all the value chains associated with sugarcane. Let us establish small industries to process integrated. You produce the sugar, you produce ethanol, you produce baker's yeast, you can produce um, energy out of it. I have visited the largest sugar factory in Africa, located in Sudan, a place called Sinar. That sugar industry is not only producing sugar and other products, it is also generating enough electricity to serve the entire region. Because of the large volume of bagasse that is produced, all you need to do is to, you burn it in boilers, generate steam, allow the steam to rotate you know, uh, your turbines, and you have electricity being generated. Going by the submissions of the professor, these men of honor who give their all to make ends meet are certainly oblivious of the fact that they are trading on a gold mine. They even have to pay Abubakar Garba 500 naira daily to help them dispose the gold, which for them remains a garbage. But until the research is carried out by the folds of people like Professor Idris Bogaje, see the light of the day, the potential sugar sugarcane in Nigeria may continue to remain in the garbage, with people like Abubakar Garba collecting stipends to dispose. And you know what? The future starts now. In Kaduna, Abdullahi Muhammad, NTN News.